Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We're going to look at this uh, little article here. It's New York Post. It's a short read, so bear with me. Uh, the number one thing men do to screw up their marriage, according to a divorce lawyer who's seen it all by Adriana Diaz. I don't know who this is. September 12th, 2024. So pretty recent. Uh, we'll start off here. Do the damn dishes. <laughs> you hear that, guys? It's as simple as that. Just do the damn dishes. Helping out around the house is one of the easiest things men can do to keep their marriage a happy one. A divorce lawyer revealed. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's no bias at all. A spouse who never participates, never, never participates in household chores often breeds resentment in the other spouse. Okay, she's trying to keep it gender neutral, but we saw the uh, headline, right? Sarah Corcoran, who sees her share of unhappy couples, said in a TikTok video. Oh, is it here? Let's try popping it up. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Look at that face. <laughs> the number one mistake men make in a marriage from turn a it up. Lawyer. A spouse who never participates in household chores often breeds resentment in the other spouse. Real quick, right off the bat, this bitch looks like a fucking Karen to me, man. All right. Just listen to her voice, too. Oh. I already want to divorce this bitch. There's not going to then be one incident that results in some extreme fight that ends the marriage. It's a slow burn. So my advice to you guys out there, if you want to stay married, empty the dishwasher every once in a while. Wow. You heard it there, guys. That's all it takes. That's all it takes is just empty the dishwasher once in a while. Oh, my God. You know, and if it's... if. Ladies, if it's bothering you that bad, you need to talk and you need to be direct with guys. Okay? No hints, no subtleties. You just need to say it. Okay? So what I'm guessing is happening here is that the the wife or whatever is doing the dishes. So he sees that they're done and it's just like, okay, they got done. That's it. And then she doesn't say anything, so he thinks everything's fine. I th I think that's more about what happens, at least from my experience. You married guys or you divorced guys, let me know how it went in the comments below. Because I've never been married. But it sounds like it's a big-time breakdown of communication. And then it explodes because the bitch doesn't say anything. There's not going to be one instance that results in extreme fights. She already said that. In hetero relationships, about 70 divorces 70% of divorces in the U.S. are now initially made by women. Yeah, we knew that. Because the grass is always greener. Uh, I think that marriage as an institution has been a little bit slow to catch up with expectations for gender equality, says Michael. Yes, yeah, soy boy, whatever. Associate prof professor of sociology at Stanford told the American Sociology, wives still take their husbands' surnames. Good. They should, and are sometimes pressured to do so. <sighs> Husbands still expect their wives to do the bulk of the housework. Yeah, because we still generally pay most of the bills. We make more money and the bulk of the child care. Yeah, because you're better at it. There. You know, it's when you got both parents, when you got the mother and the father, and the, and the wife is there to do that, then do it. Jeez. That's why Corcoran suggests that men specifically make sure they don't leave their wives to check off everything on the to-do list by themselves. My advice to you guys out there, if you want to stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. James Sexton, a world-renowned family lawyer based in New York City, has his own theories. He revealed in a podcast that the two main reasons why people get divorced are infidelity and money. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I've seen that guy. I, I think you guys know. You've, you've probably seen him before. Did they show his face? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, right there. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen him before. 
Uh, to avoid having to utilize sex and services, he advises that couples truly pay attention to each other. Yeah, talk. However, fewer people seem to need Corker and sex and advice than in previous years. The number of couples legally calling it quits has been dwindling. Following the lengthy period during the COVID-19 pandemic where weddings and dates were put on hold and apparent silver lining to the lockdowns. Yeah, you live together longer and you find out more about each other. It's a good thing. Don't rush into this shit. The marriage rate is still reportedly low compared to the past two decades. Yeah, we knew that when the number of marriages hovered around seven to eight per 1000 people a year. Yeah, damn. So another thing that I always think about here, because this has happened to me just by having girlfriends. You do the dishes, you do the laundry, whatever it is, and you don't do it right. You don't do it the way they like to do it. You don't put those away correctly. You don't fold them correctly. You don't wash them the way, the right way. You don't handle them properly. You don't put your shit in the hamper the right way. You don't do this. You don't do that. Blah, 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 da dee, blah. And so the guy goes, I can't do it right. You take care of it. Now it's, you don't do this. You don't do that. Just the nagging, the constant, it's never good enough. Done. Done. You know, guys, I live alone. You can see my apartment here. I, li I live alone by myself. Everything is where it needs to be. I do everything right. I do the dishes right. I do the laundry right. And no one is there to nag and bitch about it not being right. And I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Catch you on the next one. Bye.